Do you feel like you could use a little bit of help as you age? Do you feel like your skin might be duller? Your eyes might be redder? Your teeth might be yellowing? All of those things that we get as we get older. Well, I'm going to share with you my secrets and my tips for how I address all of those concerns and we're gonna do it in this video right now. So one of the things I get asked all the time in almost every video is how I get my teeth so white. And I had approximately 25 years ago, I hadn't really noticed how yellow my teeth were getting, but I had a girlfriend come over to my house and her teeth were white and I'm like, whoa, what are you doing? What has the dentist done to your teeth? And she says, it's nothing like that. It's plain old everyday crest white strips. And I was just in shock at that. And her teeth were so pretty. And so I immediately went out and bought me some and I've been using them for over 20 years now. I don't have my teeth whitened at the dentist. I don't use a tray with the gel or anything like that. I use plain old everyday Crest white strips. Open up the little packet and on the top has your top one that you can put on your top teeth and on the bottom it has the one that you put on your bottom teeth. Now the gel helps them to adhere. You wear them for approximately 30 minutes. It helps them to adhere to your teeth and I do a crooked teeth over here on my teeth that are right next to the front ones. So I'll take my fingernail and I'll just push down down this plastic and I'll mold it to them and then you just kind of round it around the back and then they stay on there for the 30 minutes. Don't drink or eat anything obviously while you're doing that. Now I will tell you that if you do have sensitivity, because when I started this out I had sensitivity really bad. So you will want to skip a day or two if you develop that sensitivity. Make sure you do a whole box and you'll achieve the most white that your teeth can get. If you just do once or twice you're really not going to notice much. But if you do the whole box you'll notice. And I think there's either it just depends on which one you buy there's either um, seven or 14 of them in there and then once you get to that for day 14 you're gonna see how white your teeth really are and I was just shocked and so pleased at how well it took care of all of the stains and I had years of stains on my teeth so I really do love these they're ones that I will continue to use forever continue to repurchase them now as a maintenance I do one of these every other week to keep my teeth white now that they're the whitest they can be. So not too expensive once you get over that first box. All right, how about if you have very red eyes when you wake up in the morning? What if your eyes just look bloodshot, you haven't gotten enough sleep, you want to look your best maybe on a Zoom call or maybe you have to go into the office or maybe you just want to look your very best going to the grocery store. What I do when I see that my eyes are that bloodshot looking bad is I will go in with my Lumify drops. Now, when I bought these, I was so cynical because this little bottle is like, I don't know, it's between 15 and $20. So it seems like a lot for that. But I could not believe that within minutes, it really whitened up my eyes. And you can see how white the whites of my eyes are right now. And I've used that this morning especially if I don't get enough sleep, my eyes are so bloodshot. Or if I've had some irritation, maybe from something with my skincare or a makeup product, it happens and you get that irritation. Now, I will say that I don't use these every day because I feel like, you know, your eyes need a rest. So I use it occasionally, maybe two to three times a week, probably more like two times a week. And the other thing is I do wear contacts. So I will put these in in the morning. I'll wait 15 to 20 minutes and then put my contacts in. So that's just a little heads up on that. I believe that's a little disclaimer on the bottle, but I love Lumify Drops and I've used them for a very, very long time. Now, when we talk about our skin being bright, there's so many products out there that it could be so confusing as to if you have a dull complexion or you have a lot of redness or you know, you're just not feeling like you look your best, how can I brighten my skin and make it look its best? The number one product that you can use is Tranex acid. This bottle right here is from the Inky List. Let me see how much is in here. This is, this is one fluid ounce. So that's the normal. And you can use this strategically if you have places where it's very, very dark. I have not found that this helps my dark circles 
FYI, just because they're inherited and they're, that skin right there is very thin. But tranexamic acid, it actually blocks the melanin that makes your skin have dark spots and whatnot. So if you want to, you can take it on a Q-tip, put it on age spots, put it on redness, scarring spots that are darker that you wanted to. This is really the gold standard. Now, what I also feel like is really important is vitamin C. We hear about vitamin C being brightening. Personally, when I use just a regular vitamin C treatment, it is a little bit irritating on my skin, but I did find this one from The Ordinary and it's ethylated ascorbic acid, 15% solution. This is a very stable form of vitamin C and it is a very gentle form of vitamin C because it is in oil. It You use it towards the end of your skincare regimen. I will sometimes put a few drops into my moisturizer at the very end at night. I don't wear this in the daytime because it is an oil and it's a little bit too greasy for my makeup and what I want my makeup to look like throughout the day. But this is a fantastic vitamin C product that will brighten your skin. I noticed a huge difference in the brightness of my skin when I started using this. And lastly, I beat a dead horse when I talk about this over and over again. This is Cranicel Bifida Complex Serum. This is a brightening serum as well. This has Bifida, Galactomyces, and vitamin C in it. And what is so great about bifida and galactomyces is they are both fermentation processes that really do help your skin and protect it like antioxidants do or vitamin c is an antioxidant too so i use this every single day i love my bifida serum this is the same serum that is in genifique Lancome Genifique and Estee Lauder Night Repair. Same exact serum and definitely is one that has a higher potency of, of the bifida. This has something like 60% of the bifida. And those other two that are from the department store, Estee Lauder and Lancome, they only have 10 to 15% and you're getting the galactomyces. Let me tell you how they found out, and I've said this a million times, you, if you've been with me any amount of time, you're gonna hear this over and over again. They found galactomyces by noticing that the workers that worked in a beer factory, the, their hands were starting to look younger and younger because they were working in that fermentation process, and it definitely helped with the crepiness, it helped with the dark spots, it just brightened and lightened that skin, and it was so nice. Okay, so that's skincare. But what if you want something where you just want that area to look bright? I'm gonna do a little demo for you of something that I learned actually from Painted by Spencer. This is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. This is the lightest color that they make. And I'm just gonna take a dot of this and I'm gonna put it right there on both sides of my face. Then I'm gonna take a Beauty Blender, Dampened Beauty Blender, and I'm just going to work this straight down in this area right here and towards my nose and up towards the eye. That's where we have that line right there, that sunken in line right there, that's where we have the most darkness. Now, what you're going to see is that that will immediately brighten that up. Now, I normally would never put the concealer on top of powder because I do have powder on already. But for this demonstration, I really wanted you to see what this is going to do as far as brightness. Look at how that brightened up that whole area. It just really lightened it. You can put it up here on your forehead, put it down there on your chin. Then you have this kind of halo effect right here of lightness. Now, if you find that you kind of feel washed out after that, go ahead and do your blush, put a little bit more of your blush on um, and it will brighten that up. But now you have that extreme light area right there and it just works so well. Don't forget to set that, but make sure you set it with a powder that is brightening too. One of my favorites is from e.l.f. and it's the Halo Glow. That has just a little bit of that brightness with the pink, by the way, this is pink. And then it also has that halo or the glow. I hesitate to say that that's a glow because I don't feel like it is a glow, but it does have a little bit of brightening effect in it. So make sure you set that down really lightly. And then as a last step, if you want more brightness on your face, you can go in with something like the L'Oreal. This is the Shake and Glow Dew Mist. I'm fairly dewy already. Let me see if I can get some of this taken down a little bit. I'm pretty dewy because I just did my makeup and my highlighters. So let's just take that down a little bit. And then I'm just going to spray this a tiny bit. I'm gonna prime that because I don't want it to squirt on me. 
and then I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. You can take something like that. It will brighten it up as well, but I really feel like that concealer right here in this part is a huge brightening effect. Lastly, for your hair. Is your hair dull? Does it not have any shine to it? That is what this product does for me. This is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray, and it's an advanced dry thermal protectant. Now, why I say that this helps to give my hair a little bit of luster, this is a kind of an oily product. So don't use a lot of this. As a matter of fact, when I use it, I spray it into my hand like that, and then I'll rub my hands together, and then I'll put it in my hair. But you can tell just by that right there, look at what this does. It really makes your hair shiny because it is that little bit of a dry oil product and it's going to stay it smells divine by the way so if you don't like fragrance in your hair care or any of your products you're probably not going to like this but even my hands you can see how shiny it made my hands that's what it does it has that shine in it and it is beautiful i just think that that is so different so i can go and i can put this in my hair right now if i want to or you can do like what it says to do and it helps your hair dry quicker. I actually use it both ways. So I really love it. It's one of those products that I've had around for a long time and a little tiny bit goes a long way. I have had this bottle for probably too long. If you have really fine limp hair, be very, very sparing with it. If you have more coarse and thick hair, you're probably going to really love it because it really does help with the thermal protectant and conditioning your hair. So those are the products I wanted to share with you for brighter, wider, and lighter and helping you to feel and look your very best. I hope that you did enjoy seeing these products products. I had fun bringing them to you. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any products that you'd like to share with any of us that help us always to look our very best and might be in this category of brightening. I would love to hear that from you. I hope that you're all doing very well. I love you very much. Let's get back together here on my channel in my very next video. I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye, my friends.